Hello, my name's Linda and I'm a UK Independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator making a card today using the Sweet Ice Cream stamp set and I'm also using the punch but if you don't have the punch, you can. I'm just using the um, triangle so you could cut some triangles out by hand and I'm going to be using uh, Melon Mambo and Mango Melody as my ink colours I'm also using some Bermuda Bay and Whisper White I'm going to start with some stamping I'm using the um, stamp radius today. I've got some Whisper White in here already and I'm going to be doing um, two lollies. I'm only going to show you one of them. I've already set up the bottom of my lolly and the top of my lolly. I'm going to use um, Mango Melody. I'm going to use this for the bottom of the lolly. Ink that up and stamp it on. There we go. And then the Melon Mambo for the top. And there we go. I actually um, stamped my Melon Mambo a few times because my ink pad actually needs the ink in and I can't find any of my inks at the moment so I had to do it a few times so after you've done that don't move anything you then need to clean your um, stamps and then we're going to use some Versamark on them and we're going to use some clear uh, embossing powder so because we're already in the Stamparatus we know that our uh, Versamark is going to go exactly where we want it this out and then I'm going to put some clear embossing powder I do not have any stamping up um, clear embossing powder left at the moment so I'm using a different one it's got very big grains so it doesn't it um, isn't very smooth but I'll show you what it looks like and there you go can you see how lovely that looks really shiny perfect for our lolly and I've used um, this lolly stick and I've used um, Sahara sand and I've already made one previously so you can um, stamp your lolly stick now or you could have done it beforehand or you could even stamp it separately and um, stick it on the back of of your lolly so what you actually got to do next is fussy cut that going to do some more stamping. I'm using the um, hundred and thousand stamp and I'm going to be using the Melon Mambo and the um, Mango Melody. I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock and you just need to make sure that your um, triangle or your cone will fit into this. And I'm just going to do some stamping. I'm going to start with my Melon no, no, I'm not. I'm starting with my Mango Melody. And I'm just going to stamp all over the Whisper White. I've finished uh, the Mango Melody. Clean your stamp and then we're going to go over with um, our Melon Mam Mambo. And if you can see how pretty that is and then all we're going to do is um, punch some of these cone shapes we only need um, three I think yeah three and we're going to use these as um, little flags some bunting I'm using um, Thick Whisper White as my card base, so that's an A4 piece cardstock cut in half at 14.9 and we're going to score that at 10.5 centimetres. And then I have, this is um, a free item from the Celebration uh, brochure at the moment, so in January and February spend £45 or over and get to choose a free gift. And this is one of the free gifts and it's um, a DSP, it's called Oso oh Ombre. And I've cut two pieces of it here. Uh, this one's a large one at 10 by 14.4. 
and this one is 9.5 by 13.9 I'm just going to be layering them one on top of the other and then I've got some strips of cardstock here um, Bermuda Bay is 2.8 by 10 centimeters and the Whisper White is 2 by 9.5 centimeters and we're actually going to do a tiny bit of stamping on the Whisper White that's where we're going to put our sentiment let's just score our cardstock so we're scoring this at 10 and a half centimetres and this is going to be the card base, going to fold and burnish that. I'm going to use um, the Melon Mambo again for my sentiment. I'm doing um, You're So Cool and I want to put that on the right hand side of my piece of Whisper White. And I've also um, stamped another lolly and I've done this in Crushed Curry and Daffodil Delight. So we're going to have both of our lollies on the front of our card, like so. I have some linen thread and on the um, smaller design series paper I'm going to put this at the top of my cardstock. So I've just got a bit of um, snail here and that way I can position where I want it to go. So I just want there to be... Um, some bunting. So I've put my um, linen thread at the top there. Uh, my battery just ran out on my camera. I hope I haven't missed a huge chunk. I'm just going to stick this to the other design series paper. I've put dimensionals on the back of my bunting and I'm going to pull my bunting down to where I want it to be and then stick my bunting onto my um, linen thread I think you can get the general idea there you could even just um, draw a line rather than use the linen thread. It can be a bit fiddly. Right, we're going to put this piece together now. Just simply sticking this to the middle of this one. And then across the bottom. And then I've got my lovely shiny lollies. I'm going to stick the bottom one and put the top one on dimensionals. And then we've nearly finished. We just need to stick this to the white card base. This is a really summery card and it is miserable outside today. Really wet and dark. And there's our finished card. It's really quite bright this one. And you can put um, your sentiment inside. I'm gonna think I'm gonna use um, happy birthday, but um, as I've said before, if you store your cards, you can always stamp sentiment in when you're ready to post them out. Um, this is a really nice little set, this sweet ice cream, it comes as a bundle and it's only uh, £29.50. So you could buy the stamp set and the punch, you could buy the papers that go with it and some of the ink and that will um, make your order over £45 and then you can get the free paper if you wanted to make this card. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, bye.